Welcome back to uh, GBR Garage. I hope you can hear me. Um, we're actually unloading the truck right now. Um, so yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. But we're getting this part done with before we put the bed on. It's a lot harder to do when you don't have the bed on. So we're just using cheap undercoat, but it's getting the job done. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be showing the process of undercoating. We've gone, I've gone through the uh, inside of the rails, the outside. Um, well, first of all, this cop number here, uh, where the tire used to sit here, um, all the mounts and stuff, all being undercoated. We just finished that side, I'm currently doing this side. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you updated of how uh, this undercoat turns out because I know a lot of you guys probably interested in the cheapest undercoat you can get. This is exactly what it is. Just a uh, simple Rust-Oleum undercoating. And uh, yeah, I'm on about can number, this is only can number two I'm on right now. And this is what we've gotten done, so that gives you a little bit of an idea. So uh, yeah. So this is where uh finishing off today. Um, you should see my face, but <laughs> we got a little bit of overspray all over my face, but um, here, here it is, you know. I'm sure if you guys have been with the channel uh, for a while, you'd hopefully know what it used to look like. And that was uh, pretty, pretty bad. But this is what it currently looks like. The undercoat's wet. Um, I put, this is just spray paint on the, uh, leaves and the axle. The rest, everything else is undercoated. Um, you know, the best you could do with a rattle can. Obviously when it dries up, it'll find more, uh, places that you missed. And, you know, maybe we'll touch them up, but it's not going to be, like, perfect, perfect, but... First glance, it looks like a, you know, California truck. Definitely not bad. This is undercoat that we put on top of this because that was getting a little bit, a little bit flaky. Um, but it went good. Here, I'll give you a little review where the cans are. It's not the right, obviously this isn't the right stuff, but black paint, that's all you need. And then this is uh, the main stuff that we use. We just got it at Home Depot in the, uh, like, literally the boxes of six. And some may say, yeah, it probably is overall more expensive than a gallon of Pour 15. But it all depends on what you're using it for and how you like to use it. If you like to ruin your brushes and slap Pour 15 on with a brush, then that's for you. And if you just like the dull, you know, undercoat finish, then this is for you. Um, it's just a, literally the basic Rust-Oleum undercoating. I already showed you guys that, and then this is what I use on the axle. High heat. No, it's not. Those aren't going to be in high heat, but hey, they'll be prepared for the summer. Um, but it's just a little view. Turned out pretty good. Uh, we wrapped up the uh, exhaust. So tomorrow I'm going to come come down here and see. Uh, when it's dry-ish, dry the undercoat still won't be dry. Uh, dry-ish, if hey, stuff, I, stuff I missed. Oh. Are these your mocked up fender wall repairs? Uh, they are my uh, mocked up fender wall repairs. I see the line you've got going. Is that where you're going to be cutting this replacement panel? Yes. Hmm. So that's how he's doing it. He's not using the whole panel. Nobody uses the whole panel. Um. <laughs> that would be kind of dumb if you literally cut the whole side of your bed and you don't even have the new part welded on yet. 
Here's some of the custom work he did though. Fabrication. <laughs> some of you guys like to make fun of his fabrication. But uh patched up all these holes clean, you know, you can't even see you even did anything there. This is a new um this is the cross what no cross member, right? Yeah. A rail, bed rail. Better I think. One of those two. It's the same thing. Um those beautiful welds on them. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is still kind of being worked on. It's kind of not. But this was a huge hole. This whole thing was uh, rusted through. And uh, here's a good look at. My flash isn't really on. Maybe we can change the lighting in here. Oh, there we go. Of the rust that's through some of these fender wells that are going to be cut out. So all of our panels we get are from Raybuck. No, we're not sponsored by them. Wish we were. And um, something I really want to uh, point out here, and it's probably the biggest problem of these Ford trucks. Um, I'm not sure about the new ones that they made in the um, 2008 to 2016 uh, beds, but right here you can see this is just the side here, uh, right where it would be where this is right here. Um, and this is where what looked like to be just the little starting of rust that we originally weren't even going to touch. Um, but right under that, and as you can see on this whole side here, you should see this uh, foam. That's all in here. I'm going to try to get some of it out. But it's just this foam stuff, and it runs along the whole whole side here and that collects all the moisture and starts all the rust uh, for these boards and that starts these holes here that are in just about every single Ford truck somewhere near the north. They don't even honestly I bet in like North Carolina people still have these issues like this. Um Yeah you see all this rusted all the way back here. And if so that means I mean if you have just a bubble of paint on your wheel wells, there's a lot, a lot more under that you just you, you don't know about. For example, again, I'll show you. Even back here, all the rust that's behind there. That you can't really see. It. Beautiful, good paint. Yep. Fall mine. Yeah, uh, you just can't see it. Hiding behind there, most likely. Um, but definitely the biggest problem for trucks, and we're fixing it up here at DBR. So, just want to show you guys that. All right, well, that's gonna do it today um, for the 73, the Project 73 series, rust repair series. Um, the cab is just about you know done. It's just the little things to fix in there. Um, so we were just going over the bed or rear end of the truck in today's video, just going over how we're undercoating, what we're using, and um, the steps we're taking to kind of defeat the really rusty look of what it was. And also the update on the bed project that we have on the side here. That's also having good progress. You now, DBR's member was just, you know, getting out of of where he wants to cut today as we we're undercoating. Well, thanks for watching the video. We've gotten a ton of subscribers recently. Um, we're getting close to 300. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, like the video. Also comment. Just like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Also, uh, check out the Project 47 Rust video. That one, uh, I feel like a lot of you guys haven't seen that one. Just hit our channel and uh, scroll down until you find a... Uh, I think it's titled Project 47 Rust. Or 47 Hot Rods, something like that. I'll see you in the next video.